How they hang in Dino Dudes, it's me the Digital Raptor, and welcome back to Watch Dogs 2. Ooh, getting a ton of upcoming content. Yeah, I remember all about that. I am so excited. I'll explain in just a second. So, uh, we're back with more human conditions, and uh, if you guys don't remember, hang on, if you don't remember from last episode, we met up with Lenny, that annoying character who I don't think anybody who played this game liked. And then we met up with a whole, like, junkyard, pretty much, full of hungry, hungry hobos. Hashtag hobo squad. That sounded a lot better in my head. That actually sounds incredibly rude and offensive. So anyhow, uh, apparently people are screwing around with the hobos, Wrench wants wings, a whole bunch of crazy stuff, but there's evil, there's sort of a free meta, free doctor's clinic, which has been experimenting on homeless people, and most of them have died. You know, that's all I've learned so far. So, uh, let's get back to it, because I'm really excited to see where this goes. And that's for the thing I got excited about. On April 18th, mark the date, the final, sadly, the final Watch Dogs DLC story pack will be released, titled No Compromise. From what I've read... What was that? Oh well. From what I've read, it's actually going to feature Marcus and, uh, DedSec going up against the Russian Mafia. Which sounds awesome. And you know what else I heard? There are going to be 13 new outfits, and they're going to be special ones because the new outfits are actually going to influence how NPCs interact around you. That's kind of loud. I'm going to turn that down. Hang on. Suspect is on foot. We got him now. Do I want to go after him? Uh, why not? Before I begin this episode, you guys, as always, I wanted to thank you all for coming and checking out the video. And if you may, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you smash that like button really hard in the face. So you'll be up and hit the subscribe button as well, so you can stay up to date on all new content coming straight to your face hole from the Digital Raptor. And I'm a terrible bounty hunter right now. And this... This car... I keep forgetting, these cars are terrible for steering. Ah. You know what? Screw it. Don't mind me. Let's see if I can sneak through here without getting busted. Stun gun. Okay. Ready? Aim? Oh, not close enough. Oh, wait, they're civilians. I don't want to cap them. I'll get in trouble for sure. Another punk. Okay, ready? Aim? Fire! Okay, sneak up and hide. Ready, aim, fire! Anyone else? I'm just gonna take this van. I don't like this song. No, I hate the classical music even more. So where am I going now? Eat dead sack at the water tower. You got it. Let's roll. So, uh, yeah, no compromise. You're gonna, it's gonna come with uh, outfits that make you look like a police officer, a firefighter, a paramedic, and you get like a cop car, a fire truck, which I can't wait for, and a, like police cars. You get a whole bunch of new stuff, and there's also gonna be a crap ton of free DLC to go along with it. So if you pay for uh, the no compromise, then you'll get the stuff, like the uh, cop outfit and all that. But if you don't, you're still going to get a bunch of new outfits, new vehicles, and new multiplayer modes. I think Ubisoft finally learned their lesson about uh, overcharging for Seasons Passes and, uh, you know, DLC. I think they're trying to make it so now you can just enjoy their games. And then that'll make you want to buy the DLC. Look up, Bertha. Ding, ding. So yeah, I already did the shout out saying thanks for watching and all that. Uh, frankly, I'm just excited to see where this is going to go. Uh, I am going to continue. I am going to finish. I'm going to play through all the missions aside from off the hook for this channel. And would you guys like to see uh, no compromise on this channel? Whether you want to or not, I don't really care. I'm most likely going to play it 
Anyways, that car seems much faster even though I'm already there. But if you guys would like to see it, or if you'd like to see anything else, because, uh... Not sure when this video is going up, I'm also working on a injust some Injustice videos. But yeah, make sure you comment down below and tell me what you want to see. And uh, normally people don't, YouTubers don't do this, but if you tell me what you want me to play and I end up playing it, I'll give you a shout out, or sort of a thank you for uh, checking out my channel and giving me a suggestion. But for now, we gotta talk with this dude. Good to see you. Yeah, same. So, fill me in. What have you found? Honestly, looks like your standard run-of-the-mill medical clinic. They do have some computers set up, of course. Expect you'll find more info once you hack into their system. And the doctors carry around these data pads. Those probably have info, too. Seems likely. Hmm. Now what? I'm gonna see what I can get off the doctor's data pad. Good call. That was a short phone call. Ooh, it looks like they're all camped out in there. Do I have a sniper on me? No. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get a mass comms disruptor ready to go. I'm probably gonna need it. Oh, speaking of sniper rifles, uh, in no compromise, this is gonna, probably gonna be the last time I talk about it in this episode. They've confirmed, and this might be part of the free DLC or it might not, I don't remember. Actually, I'm curious. Can I do this just with cameras? I know this is the boring way of doing Oh. Do I have to be within that range? Looks like I have to be like next to him in order to do it. Maybe I'll get the drone. I'll get Havoc the drone up. I'll get Daryl out there. Let's go, Daryl. As I was saying, uh, no compromise will also come with two uh, new weapons. Both of which are non-lethal weapons. One is a shotgun and one is a sniper rifle. Oh, I have to actually be next to him in order to do this? Okay, this should be fun. Ooh, a new song. Okay, looks like there's no enemies around. Then again, you can never tell. Yeah, I've entered a restricted area. This ain't good. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to get up there. So I have a plan. Take out as many of them as possible with, uh, you know, Stun gun. Oh, that dude's one of the jammers. Okay, that ain't good. This did not go as I was hoping it would. Where's this jammer they're talking about? Whoop, run for it. Okay, looks like I can't get that close, but I can get relatively close. So, yeah, so much for the whole I want to do the stealthily thing. Got it. Got it. And it's winging its way to you. We'll get right on this. I have it. Decoding the encryption shouldn't take long. Whoops. So I'm so sorry about this, you guys. I genuinely was trying to be stealthy. Got it. Friend senses. There was no way Josh got it that fast. Guess that explains the disappearances. Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And leave a little virus to remember us by. Ooh. So long as they don't actually remember us or identify us at all. Yeah, figure of speech, Josh. Right. You know, Josh is... I've really grown to like Josh as I've continued playing the game some more. I remember talking last episode about how shocked I was at how carefully they tried to handle the whole idea of him having a uh, mental disability. Him having uh, Asperger's, is it? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Whoops, I'm dead. I remember 
clearly talking about that for a few minutes and then getting into a gang fight about how... I was genuinely surprised at how carefully this game decided to take that. And... I've really grown to like Josh, you know? Okay, so I don't have... So it looks like I can be stealthy again. Shh, hang on, phone call. Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And leave a little hey, Zodiac killer. to remember us by. So long as they don't actually remember us, or identify us at all. Yeah, figure of speech, Josh. Right. So essentially, I can't get close to that guy, otherwise he'll like, I can't use the uh, hacker vision and all that. There, that's how you deal with those. Okay, let's see if we can do this uh, legitimately stealthily. Uh oh, getting detected. One down. Looks like the police are trying to keep this whole thing pretty quiet. Yeah? News stations are being told it's some sort of minor illness among the homeless population. Regular citizens shouldn't be worried. Right. Who cares about the homeless? All the deaths do seem to occur within a three mile radius of known mobile clinic locations. That's not right, okay? You know. I don't know if this is an actual thing, like, not- this is a video game, I- Let me- let me phrase that again. I don't know if people actually will, uh, go this far as, like, to do illegal tests on the homeless and then, you know, pay off the media to say, Oh, don't worry about it. Normal people should be fine like that. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but that isn't cool, if it is. And... I stand against it, just saying- Three down. There, now what? Oh, just leave. No, I believe genu genuinely that... Okay, how do I want to phrase this? I believe, uh, people... I believe... I believe all people... I don't know how to say this without coming across as a hypocrite in some way. So you know what, let me just say it. I believe all people are equal. Personally, I believe that no one man is better than another man. Granted. Hang on, is that the radio playing? Because it's getting on my nerves. In some ways, people can be better than others. Like, they can have gifts or talents and things like that, or skills. But... I don't think man should ever look upon another man and say... Or at least a person should ever look upon another person. Sorry, I don't mean to be mean to the whole 33 genders out there. That's the one thing I find annoying, but anyhow. I'll meet you at the Rensense building. Sounds good. Anyone else want in on this? Wrench and Satara are working on their own projects. <laughs> cool. So I'll meet you there and we'll see what we can do about freeing some people and destroying some nanobots. It's a plan. Anyhow, as I was saying, ooh, motorcycles, gimme. I believe that we shouldn't look upon other people as, you know, lower than us. I believe... Partially because... I'm just gonna say it, because I'm Christian. I believe, in God's eyes, we are all equal. But if you don't believe in God, I believe not just in God's eyes, but in everyone, amongst us all, we are all equal. There is no man who is greater than another. The greatest men of all are the ones who lay down their lives for the innocent. I'm just quoting off a bunch of random stuff right now. My, my point is, and I'm thinking way too hard about Watch Dogs. I'm sorry, you guys. I've been really going through some weird stuff recently, and I don't think it's helped that I've been reading a crap ton of these dystopian novels, which are kind of crappy to begin with. My point is, we're all equal. We shouldn't treat each other less than that. How about we get back to what's important, and by that I mean watchdogs. Hey, you. How's it going? Oh, hey. Work, you know? Uh, you know what? I'm calling in a car. Because I am lazy like that. Which one do I want to use? Yeah. Now we're talking. 
Is that idiot dancing? Oh, wait, she was looking at something on her shoe. I don't know if it's actually legal for a civilian to own a military grade vehicle. If it is, I want to get her to crib. I want to get like a military convoy and then just spray paint it. Seriously, I want to own like a military convoy and like drive it through town, but like, just casually like spray paint it so it doesn't look like anything like military, but like casually drive up to like McDonald's or places like that or Best Buy to buy movies in a military grade vehicle. Am I the only one who doesn't see how awesome that would be? Guess I am. Where's Josh? Hey. Thanks for letting me come along, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, man. Nanotech is pretty cool. It'd be fascinating to see what they're doing. Except, of course, they should be doing it ethically. Aren't and... you the cutest? Hey. Oh, not her. Thanks, Lenny. I didn't know you felt that way, except I really don't want to go into your spank bank. Not you, shit cake. Little Mr. Spectrum here. Me? Oh, okay, I hate her already. Yeah, he can't go into your spank bank either. Oh, I just want to pinch your little cheek. Oh, please don't. Oh, you're like a little puppy. I always wanted to I hate her even more than I already me. did. No. What do you want, Lenny? Uh, besides harassing Josh. Oh, she's vaping. Oh, wow. No at all. This game literally oh, is trying to be 2017-16. They are beyond the cutting edge of transhumanism. They are the bleeding edge. Oh, fuck your pansy-ass sensibilities. I was right about the homeless people, wasn't I? You need me. I know access codes. I know how their systems work. Damn it, she's right. Why'd you call DedSec then? Because I need human shields. That's not very nice. Well, I'm not very nice. Except to you, sugar. Oh, you are wasting your time with those tea bags. See, the thing is, I love Mark. Okay, Marcus's face there. He was like, "What the?" Up the hacking. And even though Captain Butt fucking noise the piss out of me, he can hack his way out of a paper bag. I'm flattered. Well, whatever. We gonna do this or what? Okay. So, uh, I was thinking, Josh and I. No, 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 no. We're not risking him. Sugar Plum stays put. But nope, it is just the two of us. Unless you're not up to the challenge. You're totally gonna turn on me after this, aren't you? <gasps> of course I Can I please And what is up with you and Josh? Can I please kill her? Hang on, does this mean I get to kill her at the end of this? I just really wanted to see the nanotech. <laughs> oh sweetie. I will That's a total glitch. Any nanotech I liberate, okay? I promise. That was a total glitch. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Move it, shit widget. Shit widget. Move! Okay, you guys, I will be so happy. Like, I will legitimately cheer if this ends with me getting to Bye. put a bullet in her head. Aww. Hang on, is Josh falling in love with her? Looks like this is the research. In a lab. weird way, Finally. that's kind of cute. I'm hurt, I thought we were having a moment. Ah, oh, don't flatter yourself. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, oh, let's go. You imagine the sheer quantity of tech they have hidden away here. It's like being a kid in a candy shop. Hey, we're here to help people. Oh, of course. I'm all about helping people. And guess what? I'm a people. <sighs> what really annoys me is she's actually kind of accurate with some of her statements there. So, where is the vent I'm going to obviously need? Oh, right there. Ooh, I love these puzzles. One, two. Let's see how fast I can do this. Oh, wait, she has to do part of it? too fast for you? Your poor little neuron can't keep up. Oh, must be lonely in that empty head of yours. Nope, I'm good. Okay, there, there. Uh, I think I did something wrong. Okay, so up there... That means I need to get it to go through there somehow. Um... I'm lost. Okay. Okay, I hate doing these. Okay, I think, uh, as much as I love these puzzles, 
they're not meant to be a two-person thing. I'll give you your points for trying something new, Ubisoft. Sorry, I just kicked my camera a little bit there. That won't look good when I'm editing. Uh-huh. Oh! Wow, I'm an idiot. So she unlocked that. You wanna know why I'm here? Why I care about this shit? Because it can make us better. Smarter, faster, more aware of the world around us. Don't you want that? It can make our lives longer, prevent us from getting hurt or sick. Hey, those are all nice ideas, but I'm not buying it. You think the world can continue like it is forever? You think we aren't about to burn out the planet with wars and waste? Nanotech can clean up the environment, repurpose the toxic shit we're putting into the air all the fucking time and make it useful. That may be, but that's not what Rinsense was doing and you know it. They were trying to come up with cool toys for rich people to buy and they were using poor people's lives to do it. Ouch. All right, you go hack the computer on the right side of the room and open the door. Sure. Want me to order you a pizza while I'm at it? Ah, funny. Just do your job. Shots fired. Oh, wait. There's the computer I was supposed to have. Right. So, I'm really curious, actually, but by, before I start the next episode, although I probably won't, because I'll probably just come on, come do a on, film this. Come on. Fuck. My, uh, my question is, is this a real thing? No, you stuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> Fuck, fuck, come on, come on, come on! Okay. I'm curious, is like nanotechnology legitimately a thing? Lenny got in first. Fine, we just need a plan that's better than hers. Didn't her plan seem to be, grab shit I want? Shouldn't be hard to have a better plan. Ouch. We need to find the shutdown code for the nanobots. Our antidote, if you will. And free any people they may be using for Oh, okay, that wasn't her, that was a bad well, guy. Okay, this should be fun. Fine here, or they'll just go out and do it all over again wipe their research data, and keep an eye on Lenny. Lenny wants their nanotech for her own uses. And I don't trust Lenny any further than I can throw her. It's unlikely you could throw her far. She outweighs you. <laughs> that is entirely true. Oh! I oh! Oh, oh score one for Josh. Use any nanotech she finds on other people. I get that, uh, Josh, that he's really trying his best to do, like, you know, yeah. be totally. with it and all that. And I get Gladly that, agree. like, like that, like I've said before, he's got you know that, so it's not. Oh shoot! I already started a shootout. Let's go, 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 go! Time to kill! Time to kill! Time to kill! Up, crap! Back comes. There, you're dead. Okay. Ooh, Shanghai is playing. Love this song. Okay. Okay, go, 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 go. Ha! Wasn't that stupid this time? Prisoners. Oh, excuse me. Experiment subjects trapped here. Jesus. We knew they were doing that. Yeah, it's just hard to believe. What else did you find? Approximate locations where they store their nanotech, where they keep the majority of their research, and where there. you can find the deactivation codes for the Okay, so you know what? Like there's a place, there's a time for being stealthy like the other mission. We having fun yet, dead sec? Yeah, it's like a party, just with nanotech and people dying. Best day of my life. Nah, 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 no need to pout, because I got it first. Because I'm a better hacker than you. You keep believing that. Maybe it'll make it true. Oh, it's true, all right. I just needed you to be the muscle brawn, not brains. I mean, if I needed brains, I would have asked your little friend. Josh, you mean, what the hell was with that? I was seriously worried you were about to molest him or something. Ooh. Reminds me of someone I used to know. Somebody who's got to be protected from all the shit snatches in this world. Wow, Lenny, that was almost sweet. Ah, fuck you. And that's the Lenny we all know and love. Man, it's amazing how even though Marcus, he's like, Marcus won't let her win. Like, Marcus just is not willing to let her win any argument here. And you know what? I totally agree. Here we go. Looks like I have our first container of nanotech. What now? Find the valves on the container. Got them. Then you hack them and increase the internal pressure. And then shit blows up. All right, little robots. Time to go bold. This should be fun. What the heck? Why, won't it, why can't I hack it? Oh, that. So I'm looking for valves. Go, 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 go. Okay, so I can't get through there. Hack that, hack that. 
Uh, hack up there. You know what? Daryl, get out there and do your hacky hacking. Happy hacking, Daryl. Let's go. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna hack that, which therefore increases the pipe there. Up there. Kaboom! <laughs> I realized they were experimenting on people illegally and killing them. Not all of them. And what are a few lives against thousands or millions? Against a cure for diabetes or epilepsy or cancer? Didn't think about that, did you, Boy Scout? For all you know, they're developing nanobots that can eat cancer cells and prevent it from spreading. Then they should go through medical trials, like all the chemo drugs and other experimental cancer treatments. And it's not like that's what you're here for. Oh, yeah? How do you know? How can you know what matters to you? You mind reader all of a sudden? You want to tell me you know my body better than I do? Or better than my doctor does? What the shit? Hey, I didn't know. You have cancer? Nah, bitch. Just fucking with you. <laughs> that was not cool. That was not funny. <sighs> Guys, I'm I'm sorry, that really took me out of it for a second. Um Full disclosure, somebody very, very close to me had cancer. They're they're over it now and they're fine. But I spent days upon days for months and months Wondering if every day when I woke up, it would be their last day on Earth, and I wouldn't get to say goodbye. I... I'm actually crying a little bit right now. I'm, like... I'm sorry, you guys, that... I'm not mad at the game. I'm not mad at the joke. Just... Those memories were not memories I was ready to have brought back. Okay, okay. Let's just finish this mission and get out of here. You know what? How about we enjoy something blowing the hell up? If you get through this before me, you're just gonna destroy all the research and tech, aren't you? Damn right I am. What they're doing is unethical, and it's not like the tech works. It's killing people. You destroyed the research and all those deaths are in vain. You think all that. That is actually a very strong point. But at the same time, actually, this is a very interesting uh, topic that I've heard discussed a lot, is when is one life, like, what's one life, the whole idea of what, one life against them, like a, a thousand or a million, like, is one life worth sacrificing? And the honest truth is, there is no easy answer. And raise the pressure. There seriously is no easy answer to that. As much as people want to believe there is... The thing is, when you want to put it, when you want to put one person's life against others, it comes down to the big question of, well, what happens to that one person, to the people they care for? I'm not for? just gonna let you destroy all the nanotech, no way in hell. Why are you so into this stuff anyway? Why aren't you? Anyone with half a brain would be interested. I mean, of course, that rules out most of your dead sex months. Ha 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 ha! That was such a deep insult. Seriously, that was a pathetic insult. Like, that was like a fourth grader insult. Come on! But... What was I talking? Oh yeah, the whole one life against, like, many others. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Ah... Uh, well, what do you guys think? Comment down below, actually. Maybe this isn't the best place to have this discussion, but... Not sure when else we're gonna. To me? If it came down to me against someone else, like... Hang on. Boo! Ethics board gets so overexcited Boo. about the experimentation. We found out it could ruin my career. And I look forward to ruining her career now. Seriously. Anyhow, but you know, if someone asked me, if someone said that my life could potentially save millions, if it cost my life, 
Granted, if I was just sitting on the couch one day and someone came up to me and said, Hey, some random person you've never met is about to die unless you die for them, I might hesitate before answering, and most likely I would say, Well, sucks to be that one person. Okay, no, I wouldn't. Probably I'd try to find a way to help them, but you know what I mean. But if like a million lives were at risk, well, no, not a million lives, like seven. Ooh, am I, did I let them out? I freed our buddies. Some of them look really confused. Yeah, well, little robots scrambling up your brains can do that. But we are going to fix that. We sure are. Can you find them a safe path out of here? Make sure doors are open. On it. Good going, Josh. But, you know, if it was like I had to die and the other billions of people in the world would Your live? Is ridiculous. Hang on. This guy. I meant for the other guy to do that to the other guy. There. You know too much. Like, you know, if someone said, like, oh. That was too close. Like, you know, I would willingly, you know, ah, I hate these laser wires. What do you think you're doing? Please, no. Hold still and be over faster. There. Now they won't notice me doing this. But yeah, I'd, I'd sacrifice myself. Well, I say that now, I probably wouldn't be like. We should go back to the homeless camp and use this to save them. We're here. What have you got for us? The cure for our friends back at the homeless encampment? It should deactivate the nanites. Once they're inert, they'll pass out of the body harmlessly. You mean these guys are going to be pooping out robots? Always keeping it classy, Wrench. True, actually. Okay. <laughs> the I'm sad thing is when you think about it, that's prison. what's going to happen. I've tracked down their backup servers and can make sure their data files are corrupted. Hey, good work. Now to get out of here. And I've tracked Lenny's path out. You need to retrace your steps and get out the back door. I can keep you from being detected that way. Done. That was surprisingly easy. Curse you, door. Get out of my way. And where is she? Because I have to kill her now. At least I hope. Nope, doesn't look like I'm going to kill her. She's nearly out, Marcus. You need to hurry. Shit, she's going to get away. I'll try to slow her down. <laughs> Good, man. I'll be there soon. We don't want Lenny running wild with shit tons of nanotech. She can't use it all on herself. She can use it on her followers. Or sell it. Yeah, yeah. without any warnings that it may not be fully tested. I'm on it, Marcus. Oh boy, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, for once, I'm literally kind of freaking out right now because I don't know what to do. The good thing is there's no time limit. That would be like the ultimate dick move right now is to put a time limit here. Jason, go. Yeah, I've named the Jumper Jason for now. Probably gonna change his name like eight more times because I don't, you know, I don't like that name. But, uh, wrong, I love the name Jason, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to think of like really kick-ass names like Daryl, as in like Daryl Dixon the Drone. Although I could call him Jason Voorhees the Jumper. And you know what? He can do this. I will give him this. <laughs> Wait for it. Now, if only I could find Lenny and do that to her. Okay, let's get out of here before it's too late. All right. So that door's open. I find it funny that you literally have to hack doors just to get out. Here we go. Let's wrap up the episode. Is that the nanotech? Mm hmm. Mama found her babies. Can I see it? Oh, no time. Oh. Okay. You gonna fucking puppy dog me now? Oh, Jesus. Fine. You're here. Is Josh gonna clock her out? Take a look. Wow. There must be thousands of dollars of nanotech in there. <laughs> you are so cute. Try hundreds. Oh, no, Josh is going to underhand her. Okay, show and tell's over. Gotta go. Ooh, Josh, you got her. Somehow. I, I, what was that? Yes. You didn't stop her?
<laughs> yes! You straight played her! I love you, Josh! Don't fuck with the hot sauce. Woo! <laughs> Yo, that, that's like a line from a Cisco movie. Damn, that's my boy. I love you, Josh. You are the best. Oh, thank you. You should pack a punch for the PRV. Experimenting on the homeless, people dying, illegal nanotech. Yeah. Crazy. I'm stealing this van. Oh, okay. Movie time, and then I'm gonna end the episode because it's like almost 40 minutes. Within the next 10 years, you will be bombarded with the promises of nanotechnology. Miracle health solutions. <laughs> Censored. Anti-aging treatments. Psychological tuning. The dream? By 2040, humanity may be rendered immortal. The cost? Installing a vulnerable operating system in your own body and handing over the controls to a corporation interested only in selling and maintaining nanotech. Corporations like I want to learn how they make these movies, not not how DeadSec makes them, but how uh, Ubisoft actually built them. I am really interested to learn how they did all the animation and all like the style effects, because I'd love to make my own kind of movies like this. They ask them to sign away their legal protections in exchange for free medical care. DedSec has uploaded everything we know about this scam to your usual topos. We have given you the truth. Do what you will. Nice. That's a solid out of 10. That's a solid 8. A little bit lacking compared to some of the others, but still an awesome video. And you know what, guys? Speaking of awesome videos, I hate to say it, but this awesome video has got to come to an end. So, I want to thank you all once again for watching. I really love that you guys decided to come out and join me. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. thanks for joining me. And if you did enjoy the video, well, if you did or didn't, I don't really care. I don't care if you didn't, because you know what? If you have critiques, comment down below. I can only get better, I bet. Or at least that's what I believe. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Like, I just smashed that guy on a bike. That sounded dirtier in my out loud than in my head. And uh, make sure you hit subscribe so you'll be staying up to date on all the new awesome content coming straight to you from the Digital Raptor. And until next time, this is the Digital Raptor saying keep cool, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Later!